Is he on the hot seat? <laughs> what are you hearing about, about John Gruden, right? It's, it's, it's crazy, right, that you know, he's back with the Raiders. You know, you know, he hasn't exceeded expectations. And now it seems like maybe you know, uh, the Chargers have passed them. It looks like maybe, like, Denver has passed them. And it looked like they may be the fourth best team in that division. That's not what they gave him $100 million for. Do you think he's on the hot seat? I, I don't know about the hot seat, guys. Only from a standpoint that he got a lot of money. He's, yeah. get, he's got a hundred million guaranteed over ten years. I, I can't imagine the owner would ever cut ties with him. But I, look, three straight seasons where they haven't had a winning winning record, that's concerning. Uh, the play of the defense last couple of years, guys, is is sickening. I mean, they 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 have been a twenty eighth, thirtieth, thirty second ranked defense. I mean, scoring defense, awful. They don't take the ball away. They, don't, they, they were. I did, think they had the third fewest sacks a year ago. So, so to me, the focus is on the defense. Now he went out and hired Gus Bradley, who's a good coordinator, is a really good teacher and communicator, and they've made some changes on that side of the ball. Going out and get uh, Yannick Ngakwe is really going to help to pair with Max Crosby. I think where they they've got a chance to be better is along the defensive line. I mean, we went out and signed Solomon Thomas. They signed Darius Phylon. Gerald McCoy, if he can ever get back to playing like he did a couple of years ago, he could be a difference maker up front. I think the big challenge for them is if they can get five or six guys that they can roll through there, get a little bit more pressure off the edge. They went out and signed Casey Hayward on the back end. Uh, they drafted Trevon uh, Merrick in, in the second round, a good safety out of TCU. Um, this Nate Hobbs kid, the fifth-round pick, uh, is going to be a, out of – Illinois, the corner, he's going to be a good player. So I, I think they, if they can get better defensively, they've had success against the Chiefs, but this is going to be a pivotal year for them. And I think it really boils down to what can they do defensively. They've got plenty of firepower and mm-hmm. talent on the offensive side of the ball with Josh Jacobs and obviously Darren Wall or a couple of good young receivers. I just think the key is going to be how much better can they be defensively in year four. Rich Gannon joining us right now on the Goodyear hotline. Just with that in mind and staying there, uh, with the Raiders can't stay in Oakland. We could go to Vegas right now. Something that Key- Keyshawn said uh, last week that made us run to the stat sheet to find out if he was right. He said Derek Carr and Matthew Stafford. <laughs> he said they're the same player. That's what he said. Derek Carr, Matthew Stafford, same player. We looked it up, and it's amazing. Their numbers are almost identical. When you put together first, was it first seven seasons? You put those together, and they're they're pretty much identical. So you see, obviously, they add Matthew Stafford to the Rams and, and what they can be. Is Derek Carr that, that guy that you think is, is just the same? Like, we don't talk about them the same way, though, but their numbers are pretty much the same. Which one's better? Well, the, the numbers are similar. Um, and when you look at that, you got to take into consideration these guys play from behind a lot. I mean, Matthew Stafford, I mean, you look at some of the fourth quarter comebacks and say, why does he have so many fourth quarter comebacks? Because they're behind in every game they play. I mean, you know. <laughs> They don't run the ball. Their defense has been you know, awful there in Detroit for years. And, you know, they, they just, the offensive line hasn't been very good. So you know, he's always behind in late in games. And I think that's been a similar situation with Carr. So they put up big numbers. Uh, the thing that's concerning for both, and let's just be honest here, is the win-loss record. I mean, that, that's how you judge in this league as a quarterback. Carr's got a losing record as a starting quarterback. Uh, and that's really been the difference. I mean, you know, you got to find a way to get your team to the finish line. And that's how you judged in this business. You know, how, how, how good are you when it, when it matters the most? I, I just think this is a big year for Carr. He knows it. Um, you know, he's, 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 his numbers have been steady, uh, but yet the win loss record is what, is what bothers you. I think the guy that's going to have the big year is, is Stafford. I just think that he had a really tough go of it in Detroit. And look, you could put John Elway in Detroit. You could put Peyton Manning into Detroit. It would be hard. You know what I mean? It's just an organization that hasn't had a lot of luck with coaches, play callers, leadership, general managers, play selection. But you go to the, you go to you know you go to the Rams. Sean McVay guys is one of the best play callers in the business, and I think they've got a good offensive line. Something Stafford didn't have uh, in Detroit. They just they just traded for Sony Michelle, who's a really good back. He's got good hands. He's a good screen runner. I mean, you know they, they're going to be they're going to be pretty good. And they got the number one defense in football a year ago, number one scoring defense. If you're Matthew Stafford, you should be doing cartwheels around that stadium out there. I think it's a great situation. Finally, an opportunity for Stafford uh, to, to, to play some postseason football. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN Plus right now.